what's going on. Um, don't really hop on here too much and talk to the camera because honestly, I'm pretty bad at it. So we'll use this as like a learning opportunity right now because I definitely want to keep getting on here and kind of giving you guys like what's going on in my brain so that like I can transfer the material and the knowledge to you guys a lot quicker through here than I could uh, on call or through text message like and really give you guys some pointers and things like that of what I did and what Gonzalo does and what Horatio does to you know get the results that we've gotten because it's getting to the point now like a lot of people have been asking me what's going on especially since I started back in class uh, this week regarding COVID. So they put us back in the lab and we're doing class in person again. So my time has been pretty limited and I haven't had a chance to kind of like talk to everyone about what exactly I did because it's just, it's been overwhelming, honestly. And um, I kind of wanted to make this video and, and really kind of give you guys a real perspective of, of exactly how I was able to kind of drop 55 pounds, you know, in the span of uh, eight months. And that's kind of where I want to start. Um, you know, when you, someone uploads something to Instagram, you only see the final image. You don't see what started and what they've been doing for like the last seven years, right? So if, if you guys don't know, I've been a certified personal training now alone for four or five years. I got my certification when I was an undergrad. So I've been doing this kind of stuff for a while. And before that, I played tennis at a super high level. So I've been really active my whole life. like. Being active has always been a, a part of my life. I'm a physical therapy student. Like this is pretty much what I wanna do. I wanna open up my own gym. So first off, this has always been something for me that I love. Um, so that makes that already so much easier. When you, you like what you're doing, when you like your diet, when you enjoy the foods you're eating, it doesn't feel like it's a hassle. You know what I mean? it's a lot easier on you. It feels like you're just living your life and you're enjoying it, right? So that's where I preach to 90% of people, right? When they start, you know, they wanna start a weight loss plan, they wanna lose weight, that it probably took them, you know, a couple years of, of eating pretty bad that they gained all this weight, right? That doesn't happen overnight. You know, these kind of things take time. The body responds slowly over time. It's not good to, you know, start a, a new regimen uh, new diet and you know everyone wants to start very extreme so they feel like they, they need to start running as much as they possibly can they need to start cutting their carbs out completely and they really need to go on this diet that's extreme or they'll go on an extreme diet they'll go vegan they'll go carnivore they'll go keto they'll carb cycle and the list goes on so there, I think there's a really big misconnection between what you see on social media and, you know, where is the best place to start? Because I think a lot of people, and I see it, I mean, we're coaching dozens of people. We have a whole team now that's honestly starting to turn into an army of people. And this is the common thing that I see. People who can't make any results and they're working four times as hard as they should be and they're just hitting that wall and they can't increase the intensity anymore because they're pushing it to the max. So that's where the first issue resides. So if you're watching this video and you have, you know, 20 to 50 pounds, you know, you're over 20% body fat, you've got some weight to lose. Start easy. You wanna lose weight and make it as easy as possible. I think of this as a stepwise process. You go upstairs, right? You go up one step at a time. You don't go, basically, you don't go for the box jump if you can't even step upstairs. You know what I mean? You guys are taking this way out of proportion. Like, eliminate some foods. That's the first place I recommend starting. Eliminate foods that you know you probably shouldn't be doing. Like, for example, a lot of you guys are wasting four to 500 calories a day just on sauce alone. It, putting sauce, putting ranch, putting these kinds of sauces on your meals. If you're putting the sauce on every meal, like for example, barbecue sauce that has a lot of sugar, ranch, uh, and the list goes on. There's so many different sauces. Olive oil, don't olive oil, liquid calories basically is what I call them. Start by moving your liquid calories, remove them completely. 
There's no point. I, there's so many alternatives now. You don't need to. You could alternative with hot sauce. They have uh, stevia instead of sugar. Walden Farms has great products. Salsa, Greek yogurt, things like that. Um, they co they're coming out with great barbecue sauces now. Soy sauce is even better. Coconut aminos is great. Um, that's where I would recommend to start, you know. Don't start going on these juice cleanses because that's going to make your life harder and that's filled with calories. So you want to start as easy as possible and try and drop one to 2.5 pounds a week. Um, that's pretty much what I recommend doing. And when you hit that first wall, that's when you, you take either something else away or you increase your exercise intensity. Uh, in terms of exercise intensity, I don't recommend, you know, your first week on a diet starting to run. That's kind of counterintuitive, right? You don't want to do that because what ends up happening is you're likely going to increase your appetite. You're going to want to eat more food. Also, you're not really putting yourself in a situation that will help you build muscle, right? So if you're burning through your muscle running, your metabolism is going to slow down. Muscle is more metabolically active than fat. Okay, so with that being said, the more muscle you have, the more calories you're going to burn on a daily basis. The more calories you're going to burn on a daily basis, the more you can eat and still lose weight, if that makes sense. So getting yourself on a proper resistance training program is more important than any cardio you can do at the start of a diet. You don't wanna to get to the end of the diet, right? And have no muscle, which is something I did. When I was playing tennis, I used to think like that. I used to think that, you know, running and playing more tennis was gonna make me look better. But actually that was the worst my body has ever looked. And I, it wasn't like I was a joke of a tennis player. Like I was a, I was a very high level tennis player. Like I did this very seriously, very competitively. Like the cardio man, is gonna kill you, kill you. And what's the point? It's so high intense. I'm walking right now, guys. Look, I'm walking. That's all you need to do. You don't need to do any more. If you wanna do it intense, you can do hit. But at the start of a diet, just keep it simple. Get in the gym, get your resistance training in, make some minor changes to your diet. For example, by removing liquid calories little changes, remove the soda, replace it for diet soda and carbonated water, things like that and see where it takes you. And then when you get to there, now figure out the next step, whether that means starting to track your calories, which you don't have to do from the beginning, or maybe adding a little bit more cardio, but kind of think of it in a graded manner. So what you see on Instagram is a bunch of, you know, really shredded guys and women. Uh, they're doing extreme things because once you get to that level, where you know you have abs already and you're trying to lean up even more, that's where you have to start doing things like carb cycling, like pushing the intensity on cardio, like doing an hour cardio sessions because when you're lean, it's so much harder to lose that last bit of weight. That's why you wanna make it as easy as possible all the way down so you still have some intensity to increase once you're already lean. That's the last, when, like, you want to be pushing it at 100 and 100% all the way like when you ha you already have abs and you're just trying to get shredded. Like you're trying to push it past like looking normal. You want to be Instagram ready. That's that's when you got to be pushing it. But if you got 20, 30 pounds, 40 pounds, just start a little resistance training program. You don't even really have to do cardio, honestly. Just make those right diet changes slowly but surely. That's where I recommend starting. Um, and that's kind of what I wanted to make this video on because I've had a lot of people come up to me and, and kind of ask me, hey, what, what did you do? And, and you know, it's, I think a lot of people really overcomplicate this and it doesn't need to be overcomplicated. It needs to be simple. The more simple it is, the easier it's going to be for you guys. So I want you guys to understand that um, if, if you want, you know, to maximize everything and have a protocol and take all of that thinking off of your brain, that's what we're doing with our program. So feel free to shoot me a message. Um, we do, you know, exercise plans, nutrition plans. We do all the, the calculating for you. Everything's super calculated and we make those smart decisions 
and pull cards and, and make changes to your program uh, as needed. So we, we, we see when you, you know, you're gonna plateau, we're very good at doing this because me, Gonzalo and Horacio have many years of experience with this. So we know when it's time to make the appropriate change so that your body can continue guessing, your body can continue responding, you can keep making those results. But other than that, uh, if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching. Drop a like on the video, I appreciate that. If you guys really made it to the end, that's super awesome, thank you so much. Um, yeah, I just hope you guys have a good day and that's it.